here we are at the lovely Mornington Peninsula having just completed two days of a fantastic gathering of members of commerce talking about international tax and the current global levers and the impact that they're having on local industry. A key trend affecting all industries is the impact of digitalization on existing business models. As companies are integrating new and improved and efficient technologies, they're realizing that there's new opportunities. The globalization and the introduction of technology is changing the way we can tax organizations. And this is a fundamental issue that uh, Australia and New Zealand are impacted by and are going to have to deal with shortly. The other thing we're doing is we're trying to transform the productivity and the margins that we get from business by introducing tools and smarter ways of working and allowing our people to provide more value-add services rather than just simple process-driven compliance obligations. What we do know is business is plural. We have huge breadth across the market and so we can formally or informally benchmark your tax function to best practice, what the ATO is expecting and what's even possible in terms of technology and process. One of the changes in the global tax landscape which will impact Australian businesses locally is the rapid evolution of digital tax administration and the real-time feed of taxpayer data into the systems of the regulators. From an Australian perspective, the ATO is building up a huge team of data scientists which will analyse taxpayer data on a real-time basis. Our clients and all taxpayers need to be ready for this by understanding what is in their data and how it will look to the ATO when it receives this on a real-time basis. Positions adopted in other jurisdictions may impact how the ATO reviews positions adopted in Australia. Overall, the ATO wants to ensure that the boards understand the risk profile and are responsible for tax positions adopted by local businesses.